How's your 2022 new? Learning and experiences. The phrase that best describes my 2022 is self-care. My name is Margarita Po. I'm from Argentina. I am class of 2021.5. So I'm a sophomore now. My major is comparative literature and culture. And I've been in Korea for more than a year now. My full name is Obuno Likogongia Binaja Soren. I'm a computer science student. I'm the class of 21. I come from Gabon and I've been in Korea for two years and a half now, I think. So I'm Fidelia Ikesha Hudianto. I'm class of 2021.5. I'm majoring in chemistry and I'm from Indonesia. I've been in Korea since August. I'm here to share my 2022. And to talk about my month to month. Adulting encounters. So uh, January, it was vacation holiday, so it was really good. And I had more time for my hobbies like basketball, reading, learning, thinking. It was really great because I read a lot about philosophy and psychology and I really love it. I would say A because I was about to write a book, then I got lazy and I gave up. But I really wanted to write a book because I learned so much and I had so much ideas. So in February, I paid my tuition for the spring semester but it didn't go as smooth as I wanted to be and I realized that overseas remittance is not as easy as it sounds. I would give it a D because the tuition payment was really stressful for me, so D. In March, I took a trip to Gyeongju with a friend and it was the first time traveling without my parents. So I had to plan for everything and budget and make sure I got the correct location and bus ticket. But in the end, it was very fun and very rewarding. I would rank it an A because the trip was very enjoyable and something that I always wanted to do. Yeah. In April, I went to a Stray Kids concert and I felt very rewarded because they were speaking in Korean, but I could understand everything. So that meant that all of the time that I had spent studying Korean finally was paying off. I would rank it an S because it was one of the best experiences, not only of the year, but of my life. So for me, I started to prepare the documents for visa issuance and I prepared all of the documents by myself. It was not as easy as it seems because there are so much documents to prepare, but it was not that bad for me. I would give it a B because it was basically like at the end of the semester and I prepared it like way before I had to actually issue my visa. So there was not much pressure. June, uh, I move out of the dorms. I live alone now and I go to work to pay my bills. And I realized that people should change their mental model from feeling as good as possible to, to doing the stuff they got to do. You got to do stuff to pay your bills. It, it doesn't matter if you feel sad, happy, or depressed. So you are responsible for your own life. I would give it a B, yeah, because I learned, I learned something. In July, after a full year, I flew back home to Argentina to visit my family and I felt very comfortable because I was already settled down in Korea and COVID restrictions were lifted, so it was overall a very enjoyable experience. I would rank it an A because I was a little homesick and I really enjoyed visiting my family and eating my traditional foods. For August, I came to Korea and I had to apartment hunt, or in this case, one room hunt. It was not easy because of language barrier, but I managed. I would give it a C because it was a whole new environment and a language that I'm not exactly used to, but it was not that bad. Ah, uh, September was really weird. We started off offline classes and I didn't like it because I've been doing online classes for two years now. It was pretty complicated. I don't like coming to school. I go to commute every day, go back home, come here. I don't like it. Yeah. What would your ranking be? Uh, C. 
I don't like coming to school. <laughs> For October, I opened a Korean bank account for the first time and it was really easy because I opened it at the university bank branch. I would give it a B plus because even though there are midterms, but I got through it, okay, so I would give it a B plus. Oh, November, I don't know how, but I gained uh, 8 kilograms. I mean, I know that, that I gained uh, and lose weight so easily, but I'm still surprised. I hate that. That's a lot, but I still look slim. I can still play basketball. I can still run fast. I can still jump. So I don't understand where did I weight go. I don't get it. Yeah. Is it because you eat a lot of junk food? Mm, yeah, junk food and maybe muscle because I grow because I grow muscle without doing sport. I don't know how, but yeah. And what would be your ranking? Oh, D because there is nothing new there. I've already known that for long, that I gain and lose weight so easily, so nothing special, nothing new. So for December, I would tell myself to continue the trend of self-care, not in big things like concerts or trips, but in the little habits like eating healthy and keeping up a good sleep schedule. I think it's gonna be a good month because Christmas is coming and uh, Finals are gonna be over, so I would give it maybe an A. 2022, I would say B, because I learned a lot of stuff and I really like learning. Yeah, so B. I would give it a C, because offline classes has been pretty stressful. Just like a whole new things around me, things that I have to do for the first time. So, C. Overall ranking for the year is A, even though there were some unpleasant moments, it was overall a very enjoyable year. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.